Despite growing up in the buckle of the Bible Belt, Lucas Kitchen was confused by the answers he received when he had questions about what he must do to be saved. He has now authored the book, Naked Grace. This book is my story. It's the story of trying to get clear on those basic subjects of salvation and assurance. It was basically returning to something simple that I was taught when I was a kid, but so many layers of complexity got added to that simple saving message that I could no longer see the simplicity and the beauty of grace. That's what I hope people will get from this book, an opportunity to uncloak all of of the complexity that's been added to grace. Only more confusion prevailed as he tried to seek answers to his questions about grace. For me, this book came out of a huge amount of confusion uh, that I had coming up through what I would call the Bible Belt. And I spent years just being confused. And this title comes from a particular story that I share in the book where I began to sort of uncloak grace, so to speak. So Kitchen decided to take a step up to the next level. It was the deep theologians that got me the most confused. And it wasn't because I wasn't listening. I was very interested in Bible subjects from a young age. What I was looking for was practical answers, very simple explanations of things as simple as what do we do to ensure that we're saved? What do we do to make sure that we're going to go to heaven? Things like that, that we should learn in Sunday school. But honestly, I was having trouble because I was hearing contradictory answers. His quest continued as he sought an answer he could understand so he could share it with others. It's easy to share cliches, share phrases and euphemisms that we've heard so many times that they've kind of lost their meaning. We need to return to a clear understanding of grace. But ultimately, I think what we need to do is we need to ask questions of our teachers. We need to demand that they give us practical definitions of these concepts. And if there is a Bible teacher that struggles to answer the basic questions, the people who listen to him are going to struggle to understand those basic questions. Naked Grace is a book that will encourage others to do whatever they can until they understand. Bible teachers say things like, salvation is free, but it will cost you everything. Another one that I heard from time to time, faith is more than just agreeing to facts, but it's less than doing good works. And so these phrases that sound powerful, they sound poetic, the effect that they're having on people is confusion. And there are so many people out there that are feeling confusion, but they don't want to speak up about it. They just go along with the crowd and pretend as if they understand the basic line of logic. Maybe Kitchen just couldn't understand grace. So they took a survey to get a consensus of opinion. A few years ago, my ministry did a survey. We surveyed over a thousand Christians with this simple question, what does it take to be eternally saved? And the answers could not have been more varied if we would have asked, define the universe and give three examples. I mean, confusion is rampant based on these simple questions. What do you have to do to be saved? So, no, I'm definitely not alone. Can a reader ever really fully understand grace? You can give someone grace, and it just means that you excuse them when they say something inappropriate, or you can show grace by walking in a certain way. I mean, we have so many different meanings of grace, and what I hope to do in this book is help people return to a biblical understanding, but not to do it through a dry theological approach, but to do it through showing by story. I think that's what this book accomplishes, so that we can see clearly what God meant by grace itself. Naked Grace by Lucas Kitchen uses stories, sometimes humorous, to give readers insight. I believe we learn by stories. You know, when a story is moving or it's funny or it's thought provoking, which, by the way, I think this book is, I think the learning can be really, really deep. We can see things that we wouldn't have seen by just dry facts. And I believe that in this book, a reader can be encouraged to not lose heart in their own quest for answers. People are madly trying to dress up grace in all kinds of religious behavior. But what we need is what I might call naked grace, simple, plain, and beautiful. Here's how to get in touch with Lucas Kitchen, author of Naked Grace. LucasKitchen.com. But if you want specifically the book Naked Grace and that's uh, that's your target, then you can actually go to NakedGrace.org. That's NakedGrace.org. This is John Clemens reporting.